My name is Andre Demise. I'm running for City Council in Ward 2. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. If you have any questions, be sure to call me. 31 year old Andre Demise will be saying that a lot for the next three months. He's one of 10 candidates running against Michael Ford in Etobicoke North, the ward his uncle, Doug Ford, is stepping down from. Demise has already garnered attention for openly criticizing the mayor, who has been caught in the past uttering racial slurs. A lot of people from the various African Canadian communities who support Rob Ford because they see him as a sort of Robin Hood hero. I'm not mad, but the question I have to ask is, if your children were behaving the way that he does, would you be okay with that? You know, if yeah. somebody takes money from out of his own pocket and puts it into the hands of the same drug dealers you've been trying to keep your children away from, why would that be okay with you, right? And to, to, to call us by racial slurs? Uh, it is the first time the sensitive topic of race has openly entered this campaign. Yesterday, Doug Ford stated Rob Ford would get more votes from the black community than President Obama. Today, he backed off. Are you acknowledging that that was an inaccurate comment? Well, not physical uh, a percentage. I bet he's come pretty close as a percentage as votes, obviously not. I said it was a metaphor. And no one supports this community more than Rob Ford does. Out and about, Rob Ford does seem to enjoy an astonishing amount of support from African Canadians, but no one person can speak for an entire community. Andre admits he's faced some criticism for opening the can of worms. Are you getting any backlash from people? There has been some backlash. Um, I, was, I was, I mentioned this before, but I was on a radio show a couple of weeks ago, and uh, some, you know, one of the callers was absolutely furious. And I've had some emails where people um, didn't like what I was out there doing, uh, saying that I'm trying to tear somebody down. Look, I'm not trying to tear anybody down. My job is to build people up, right? So I want to give a voice to people in the community that may not normally have their voice be heard. Andre Domiz lived in this area for three years in community housing. He doesn't live in Ward 2 any longer, but says if elected, he will move back to the area. Cynthia Mulligan, City News.